Hey guys, I appreciate your time. My name is Nigel Dix. I'm a 23 year veteran in the ATM business. Today I want to show you how to know if your cash box is dead or if it needs replacing, but I'm going to show you how to exchange the mechanism inside your ATM cash box. So what I want to do with you is go over how uh, easy it is to actually exchange the mechanism inside your cash box out and the different options you got. Also how to know if it needs replacing. All right guys, follow me over here and let's take a look. We're going to open it up with this key here. You can see it's locked. Once I've opened it here, I'm just going to simply pull this back. This thing here pulls back and stays back. You are going to need a Phillips screwdriver, two sizes, a short one and a longer one. We're going to find out, is this piece here good or bad? When you look at this, you can first of all see inside that they look rather dark. And if you touch them and if they feel soft and gooey, then obviously it needs replacing. Now you're going to need tools, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You may want to just tap it ever so slightly. Why? Because they've been in there so long. If you don't, it's basically welded shut. If I don't do that, I'll try and get it in there and it'll strip the threads and I won't get it out at all. Push a lot of pressure into it. Don't try and do it lightly. Push in and turn. Once it's loose, take out that screw completely. Put that to the side. You've got a second one right here. Now I'm going to warn you now, that one there and that one there, do not touch them. These two only. Next, you're going to take your regular Phillips and you're going to take that inside of here. There's a screw here and here. All I'm going to do with those is I'm going to loosen them. I am not going to take them all the way out. There are two more screws to take out. One is right here and the other is right here. So let me show you what they look like. That one just came out. There you go. I tipped it upside down, it popped out. This is the screw you're looking at right here. Take those out on both sides. Now, let's turn this around. What it just did was it fell from here like this look. Take this out before you lose it. Don't lose the other screws. And these two holes here kind of fit on these. So it slides on. You see this here? This just pops off and it's just melted away. This one here on the back, it's actually gooey. See how good on my fingers? It's nasty. Now, this here, don't grab it here and let this fly forward. It'll fly off. This now is just ready to put the new mechanism in. Let's see if it's the same mechanism I've got. This one and this one have to be identical. This one has some bumps here, this one doesn't. I'm hoping that that is going to be just fine. We're going to find out shortly. There are ones like this that don't fit some of the cash boxes, so be aware of that. The way I put it in, see these screws I loosened? Those washers are going to pop up and I'm just going to slide this in. Now obviously I need to slide under those washers. There you go, I snapped it in. Now first off, I'm going to tighten up this screw and this screw first. Make sure it's nice and flush here. Keep it into place secure. Don't over tighten it, but just tighten it nice enough to keep it in there. Don't thread it. I'm gonna test this here, look. You can see that that's just perfect. It looks good, no problems. Pull this back again, and let's put the case back on. It's literally just going to snap on here. So as you can see, it just kind of slid on there, if you can see that. Let's see if it works. It's a little bit tight, actually, so you'll see why. This one might be a little bit different because there are different ages of these and different styles of this here. All right guys, so I did go and find another box and you can see what I was talking about. This one has the small fins on it, like I was just showing you. The other one is this one here. You can see these fins are much bigger. So you're gonna have to be very careful to know what kind of cash box you're trying to fix. Yeah. So, let me take a look and see what the difference is. Okay, so this one here does not fit this one. This one here has two rollers on it. This one has four. Well, guys, normally you'd be finished already. You'd be put it back together and you'd be done. But if you come across this situation, it becomes a little more difficult. All right, guys, so let's get back to this and finish this up. What I've ended up doing is I had to go out and get another unit like this with the four prongs because a two prong will not fit it. So if you've got the 
cash box which is this mechanism here with the smaller rail you will definitely have to go get the correct one which you need the four prongs so before you order a piece like this uh, make sure you do order the right one so I did confirm that the two, the two pin here does not work in it so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together real fast and this is a very simple process remember I said that these washers you've got to kind of throw upside down to pull the washers up where it goes in and just kind of let it squeeze in like that make sure it's actually all the way flush here and you're going to tighten this one and this one up first so this turned out to be a lot more work than I thought it would be just make this short movie but next on my next video I'm going to show you how to dismantle one completely from scratch and back again it's nice and solid in there now we're going to put the cover back on and that's just simply a case of just put it into those holes there like that you can see it rivets pivots make sure this piece here goes on the outside not on the inside because sometimes i'll do it and this will go on the inside like that you put the screws in and you have to do undo it again so make sure this goes on the outside on both sides here and here before you can put the screws in pull it back a little bit like this put each screw in the hole so you're going to put one here and one here pull this forward slowly make sure it's on the outside again take your screwdriver in there very gently don't turn it too tight, too tight yet because we haven't put the black screws in either yet so I'm just going to put that in loosely I'll tighten those in a second we want to put these in before we tighten them and remember guys that's those two tiny little black screws here like this use my smaller screwdriver because it's a lot easier there you go so now, not too tight because that will break the plastic I've done it before over tightening it just smashes right through it plastic is not that strong just finger tight now let's go back to tightening these two up in here and get those nice and tight not too tight but nice and tight all the same that's it go ahead and release the lever Oops. make sure you can spin it okay make sure that it's looking even like that look you can see it's nice and clean that is now a brand new cash box put that back need the key one thing to note guys on this key here you see this nipple here i've shaved it off what i like to do with these cash boxes is i don't like to lock them so i turn this i open it see how it goes down i then pull this out that now stays in the open position why do i do that or well, let's say someone breaks into it i don't want to lose a two to four hundred dollar cash box because they can't get in it right away i don't want them to smash the crap out of it so i'd rather if they've already gotten into the atm they can just lift it up and take the cash out they can leave my cash box behind there's one less thing i have to replace just a note you don't have to do that it's just one of my preferences all right guys i appreciate it so again my name is nigel dix i'm the uh 23 year veteran in the ATM business. I'm going to try and save you money on parts, how to get the cheapest labor. I'm going to help you all the way, so please share and like my video. All right, guys, that was a much bigger ordeal than expected. Uh, we did come across a few problems, but it was a great learning video to teach you what to look for because, you know, in the past I've actually ordered those parts, got it wrong, and had to resend it back again and got it wrong again because I didn't know what I was looking at. So here I've tried to educate you on what to do and how to save some money. If you're looking to strip down the whole cash box and just replace those two bars I was talking about, my next video will be showing you exactly how to do that. You'll save probably 40, 50 bucks, whatever it is. It is time consuming, it is cumbersome and labor, labor intensive, but we'll go through that next. I appreciate your time, guys. Again, my name is Nigel Dix. I'm a 23 year veteran in the ATM business. Now my real cell phone number is throughout this video. You can call me anytime you want text me message me any questions you've got about the ATM business I want to try and save you the money on service parts finding the best locations and working with the right company I appreciate your time guys thank you very much again, again my name is Nigel Dix and I'll see you next time guys thanks